understand why I can't talk at this meeting. Because when you talk, it enrages people. <laughs> OK. A quick question. Am I allowed to exchange pleasantries upon meeting this colonel? Yes. Am I allowed to inform him that Colonel Sanders was never actually in the military? I'm getting enraged. Fine. <laughs> Ooh, can I use text-to-speech software? No. Don't speak. Aw, oh, nuts. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm Colonel Williams. Thank you for meeting with me. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so, which one of you is the brains behind all this? It's a group effort, but I, I guess if we had to pick a main brain, it would be me. <laughs> and because of the quantum vortices, this can run perpetually? Exactly. Yeah, you have a good grasp of the physics. Well, I'm a scientist by training. Really? You're a physicist? Better. I'm an engineer. Where did you go to school? MIT. Huh. Well, hey, me too. I should have known behind every great invention is an MIT mind. I'll cut to the chase. The Air Force believes there's an application for this technology, and we're interested in funding your research. Well, thanks. You should know we're... A little concerned about this being used in weapons. Oh, well, let me put your mind at ease. What we use it for is none of your business. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Look, guys, it's just a guidance system. It's not like you're handing us the Death Star from Star Trek. <laughs> All you need to worry about is right now it's this big, and we need it to be this big. That's a lot less big. <laughs> yes, it's this much less big. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's possible. Well, I ran it by some colleagues at MIT, and they thought they could get it done in four months. Four months? Yeah, we'll do it in two. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. I'm the actual brains behind this project. <laughs> also, engineers aren't real scientists. MIT's a trade school, and the Death Star is from Star Wars, not Star Trek. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, thank you for your service. Is it even possible to get this done in two months? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to work 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Which means I won't be able to make Penny breakfast every day, and she'll realize my brioche French toast was the only thing keeping her in the marriage. I love your French toast. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> so why did you guys even agree to the deadline? We didn't. Sheldon did. And you just let him? Well, the colonel said it was for the good of the country, and the funding is substantial. Yeah, but mostly there was an awkward pause, and I broke it by saying, okay. <laughs> so I guess I won't be seeing you guys for a while. Well, looks like it. Wow. You're going off to work with the military, leaving me behind. Now I know how all those army wives feel. <laughs> Would you stop? We're just going to be on the other side of campus. And right here. <laughs> you are a deeply silly man. <laughs> he is so afraid of his feelings. I never realized this building was classified. Maybe that's because it's classified. <laughs> Wish we weren't so far from my parking space. The way you put away those lemon bars, perhaps that's a good thing. <laughs> I'd like to reinstate the you not talking rule. Why? It clearly doesn't work. <laughs> I guess this is it. <laughs> is that a retinal scanner? Let's find out. Howard Wallowitz, access granted. No way! Uh, my turn, my turn. Leonard Hofstetter, access granted. I didn't even have to take my glasses off! <laughs> Denied. Your nose! <laughs> oh, 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 guys, hold me upside down. <laughs> Howard 
Wallowitz. Access granted. Wait. The earth began to cool. The autotrophs began to drool. Neanderthals developed tools. We built a wall. We built the pyramids. Math, science, history, unraveling the mystery. It all started with a big bang. What?